Hi guys, it's Lauren here, just popping in today to share with you my very first process video for the Hip Kick Club. Now, I'm participating in the sketch challenge, so as you saw when I held my phone up there, uh, that's the sketch that I'm going to be working off. Uh, it has some circles, some triangles, some um, lines, lots of things to really challenge me. And so I grabbed all the goodies from the August to Hip Kit Club subscriptions and everything. And I just wanted to sit them out and have a look at them, look through all the embellishments and the papers and kind of get a bit of an idea about what I'd like to do. Uh, so I've ended up with a using some white cardstock as my background and pulling in some of those beautiful blue tones. Now... Uh, I have to say, when I received my box of goodies from the Hip Kit Club, I was overwhelmed. It's literally like Christmas in that box. And when I'm doing my layouts, it's actually just like Christmas as you're flicking through the oodles and oodles of embellishments. Um, these kits are fabulous and the... The colour palette that um, even Crossing Brands manages to work out perfectly. So no matter what you get, no matter what you work with, your layout all is, is going to come together because everything coordinates beautifully. So if you haven't heard about the Hip Kit Club, I want you to click on the link below, which will take you to the website, and you can check out the past kits and how gorgeous they were. You can check out the beautiful September kit that's coming that's on its way to people now and get a bit of a feel for the Hip Kit Club and what it's all about. We're a great community and I'm certainly enjoying getting to know everyone. This layout is for the people who love fussy cutting and the people who love dimensional layouts because I have, I think I used about a roll of foam tape <laughs> And I think I had a hand cramp after all the fussing cutting I'd done. <laughs> so I know that fussy cutting is not for everyone. But when you get beautiful, intricate papers like this from the Crepe Paper Willow Lane collection, you can't help but really want to maximise the paper. And by fussy cutting, um, you will have lots and lots of elements that you can incorporate not only in one layer but maybe two three or four so fussy cutting although it's very time consuming i think there is a rich reward in the end and look at that beautiful uh, flower cluster there that i've just cut now at this point i just wanted to um, have a bit of a play with a background piece what i was doing and i'm thinking about the sketch and the lines running uh, uh, vertical down the page and I picked up this uh, sketchy little love heart piece from the Willow Lane collection and thought they have that running motion down the page which will incorporate some of those elements that I was looking for for the sketch. In the sketch the photos um, were placed in that position so I've placed them there to um, you know making sure I'm as much falling onto that sketch palette as I can. It had in the sketch it had some butterflies, so I really wanted just to position them out and see where I'm going. I've done I was sitting on the couch the other night and I had um Willow Light in the kit comes with some beautiful floral papers and some butterfly papers. So I sat quietly on the couch the other night while I was watching TV and fussy cut some of those gorgeous elements that I thought I could just have like a little bowl of ephemera as I work through this kit this month and uh, yeah it's really really um, it's nice to do when you're watching TV that you're not really thinking about it uh, so I encourage you all to do that when that perfect piece of paper comes along that you want a fussy cut. Pulling apart this intricate piece um, navy and white piece there just to I want to really create that circular motion uh, in the sketch it was done with lines but I really wanted to make my circular motion with a floral designs so bear with me now while I fussy cut and fussy cut and fussy cut and fussy cut <laughs> it is quite sped up but still is um, 
a little time consuming to watch. But while I am, while you're watching, if you are interested in sales, and I know all us scrappy ladies and gents out there are always up for a good sale, the Hit Kit Club are having a sale this weekend. So you can pick up some pass kits at great prices, and you can pick up some grab, bag, grab bags that are full of all sorts of wonderful goodies. So I want you to pop over and check out the sale on this weekend, 15th and 16th of September 2018. Uh, and we and grab yourself a bargain and who knows what um, surprises you might find in those grab bags. And when you do get your grab bag, I want you to share it with us in the Facebook group so we can see what goodies you got in your grab bags. Um, and we can share what we got in ours. So check out that sale this weekend and go from there. Um, this, as you can see, I'm just slowly building this cluster to create that movement around the page. The I had these two lovely photos of my daughter and I. We were just down on the riverbank on Father's Day this year and we were just snapping some family shots. And I really just love that. Um, I love having... I think it's important that um, us mums are also in the photos and not always behind the camera and I know that can be a little daunting at times uh, but I encourage you no matter how you're feeling just to snap a selfie every now and then or you know let someone else take the photo and be in some of those shots because I know that they'll be important in the future, not only for myself, but my little girl to see that. So I literally just traced using my mouse pad. That was that circle was my mouse pad sitting here at my computer. And I just traced that out and then cut the circle out, as you saw with a pair of scissors. I then just backing it now with that sketchy, cute love heart paper. And there you have it. Now, this is where I'm fiddling around, making sure that I'm um, getting that circular motion and placing everything into place. Um, as I'm going, I'm mindful of my photos. I'm also thinking about dimension and I'm also thinking, how am I going to transition this really stark white paper from this, the love heart, which is not, a white it's like a it's like a cream colored background so I really was sitting here while I'm fiddling around here thinking well how am I going to transition the lovely cream tones uh, into the the stark white and so I came up with the I thought I might do pull out my blending tool and some ink and do a bit of blending around those edges now I unfortunately missed out on the colour kit sold out super fast for August. So I unfortunately missed out on getting my hands on the colour kit. But if you were lucky enough to get your hands on the colour kit, using the beautiful products in that colour kit to blend out, if you're interested in doing this layout, sorry. <laughs> if you're interested in, you know, um, having a go at this sketch and interpreting it the way I did, you can use that uh, beautiful uh, colour kit to be able to blend out and help that transition from that cream tone into the white tone if you enjoy using white cardstock and using it for your background paper, which I know a lot of people really love to do. So I'm just using a, like a Tim Holtz blending tool. You can use a like a foam uh, makeup applicator that will do um, the, the same job. I tend to use the Tim Holtz applicators because I do a lot of blending. But if this is not something that you do frequently, one of those makeup sponges will do really well and they last a fairly long time if you're gentle with them as well. So I've just managed to sort of blend out that. Now I'm just having a flick through the uh, ephemera kit and I just wanted to pull out anything that I thought may coordinate with this and pull another tone in. I really liked that be happy, be kind tag. Um, I just thought it was so cute. But I ended up moving away from that and I'm going to save that for something else 
super special, but I thought that was really cute. There we go. I found the winner. Hey, sunshine. I was on the riverbank with my little girl having lots of fun with the family and I thought that title was really perfect. The You Are Loved card, it is quite big and punchy um, and sometimes you can really struggle with where do I put these really big elements but incorporating it into a flower cluster or into you know, a border or incorporating it by layering like butterflies or flowers around it, you can start to sort of shrink down the presence. So it still is quite a punchy little title there, but it's just taken that really, those harsh edges off and subtled that right down. So it incorporates into the background. And you'll see in a little while I'm using foam adhesive a lot along a lot of a lot of the embellishments around here which really creates that dimension and able to sort of blend that larger element more into the background um, so it stands out a little less. I really wanted to make my photos pop. One way of doing that is to um, print them out in black and white and playing with the contrast a little. If you play with the contrast you get your blacks a little blacker and your whites a little whiter which really makes them pop off the page and if you're photographing them for to share on social media or use in a process video I really recommend this technique so people can be enjoying the photo uh, whilst you're demonstrating or sharing it on social media sometimes when you don't play around with those contrasts and things and they're really quite pale it can be hard to photograph for social media but if that's not, um, if you're not interested in sharing on social media your layouts, then by all means, keep you can keep that nice black and white in those softer grey, softer tones, which are those greys, and um, and it will look equally as stunning. Uh, but I really like to because I like to share my layouts and how I put them together. I really like to play around with that contrast. Even though, as you can see, my eyes are quite dark. I have deep set eyes and they're always very dark. So when I play with the contrast, they get even darker. But I think I might just have to go and buy a new concealer or something. Because <laughs> I love playing with my contrast and my white balance and things like that. So I encourage you, um, have a little play around with your editing, uh, photo editing app on your phone I think if you've got an iPhone you can um, there's an like a basic editing program built into the iPhone um, unfortunately I'm not sure about Samsung's I know they're very popular as well I'm an Apple girl because uh, they're really easy and they like to talk to each other so I have to stick with Apple so but there are plenty of apps the other app that I really like to use is camera plus they have a camera plus two as well you can really pull out those uh, photo editing elements and the other program program that is a must if you're especially if you're doing project life is the actual project life app by becky higgins where it has a really great photo editing feature so even if you don't utilize the app for all the other elements if you just use it to print photos and edit them it will be a um, you'll get a great you'll get a, you know some great features there that really make your photos pop. Um, so at this stage I'd sort of set out my layer. You can see all the fussy cut elements is kind of where I want it to do. I want the Nate, the beautiful blue butterflies, I want it in that circular motion to help the sketch concept come round. Um, but as I was putting my photos down and having a think about what I wanted to do, I realised I needed some more blending out at the sides further and down below um, so I've just added some extra blending there to incorporate it I really like the utilizing the pink and the yellow because when they blend you get that orange which is a nice transition in between the colors so I encourage you to have a little bit of a play with some uh, different blending colors and see what they make when they come together it's always fun and if you're not uh, you know a if you haven't gone and studied art or design or things like that, you sometimes get a pleasant surprise when you mix your colours together to see what see what they 
see what they create. So as you can see, I'm beginning my foam extravaganza. Now, foam tape can be quite pricey. So, you know, you try, I try to be um, as minimal as possible, but ensuring I get enough uh, adhesiveness to ensure the longevity of the page, ensure that it's, you know, in a few years when I'm looking through my album, it's not all falling off. So um, using uh, foam, foam to, in a sparing way, as well as ensuring that it's really really stuck down is um is something to some elements to consider i just use the express it tape brands for both those they they're easy to pick up in my local spotlight store uh recently raquel bowman shared a super duper find from our local bunning store which is like our hardware super center here in australia and she picked up a you know, a bargain roll of foam adhesive, like, I don't know, something like 40 metres or something crazy for $10. So I'm hoping at some stage I'll um, pop into my local bunning store and check out um, this great find that Raquel has um, sourced for us Aussie scrappers. Um, uh, do you guys uh, have any super bargains that you know of? Any hardware store finds that you you utilise in your scrapbooking? If so, share that in the comments below. Let us know. We always love some good bargains and helping other scrappers out. I know in America you guys have lots and lots of massive craft stores. Like I think it's Joann's and Michael's and... You know, I'm really excited because next year, this time next year, I'm hoping to come over to the States and go on a bit of a bit of a holiday. And I'm excited to come and check out these really great stores that you guys are always talking about and making us Aussies insanely jealous. Um, so, yeah, share in, the, share in the comments below what is your scrappy bargain find in your local hardware store. I'd be really interested to to read and find out so when I'm over there I can create a shopping list um yeah so here I am I'm just trying to fiddle around the photos I really wanted to um distinguish them apart and it can be tricky sometimes to to do that when they're both they're all similar color tones but I didn't want to add another layer I liked the way the layering was so by utilising the butterfly um, there in between the photo, just a little, and some foam adhesive, just to raise that off a little, I was able to sort of create, um, you know, just sort of really highlight that I'm distinguishing that there's actually two photos there and they're not blending together. Um, a little bit later I pop back in and I sneak down a little bit of cardstock in that spot. See, as you can see, I'm trying to trying to work out how do I create that division between those two photos because it just wasn't sitting right with me. Um, later you'll see me come back and I'm going to peek down just in that little gap there some um, some cardstock that was an off cut and that just makes me feel a little bit better. That gorgeous, gorgeous frill crepe paper there is is absolutely stunning. It's always it's it's set in that piece and it's stitched across and it has foam already on the back, so it's an easy, gorgeous embellishment just to whack under a photo or a border or whatever to um, create that extra texture and um, create that little dynamic feature on your layout. So I love that. I love that little bunting flag there. They're really quite large. But it just coordinated really well with all those blue tones and purple tones and aqua tones that I was using. Um, so I just wanted to pop that little flag down, down in under there. So I was really thinking now, what other elements can I pop in? Um, create, pa create paper always do these fabulous cardstock stickers that are so wonderful to add those little embellishments on there, those tiny little features that just give that little bit of detail on your layout. And they're really reasonably priced and they're easy to store. So I really wanted that little birdie. I thought that birdie was really sweet. 
Look, I'm trying so hard. I'm trying so hard to find a spot. Oh, look at that. There we go. <laughs> Sweet. See, I love this collection. Willow Lane is just absolutely stunning. And I'm looking forward to doing lots more layouts with all these gorgeous pieces here. We got some thomes. See, the chipboard here is gorgeous. Thick quality cardstock. Has a little bit of dimension, so helps me with my dimension and yeah so i've had to finish off the um, video didn't quite make it to the end um, we had a technical glitch but i really hope you like the layout and um you know have got any questions pop them down in the comments and i'll catch you guys again soon bye <laughs>